Oh wow, this first bit is like a sunroof. Cool. Hello, and welcome to M Preview. And today, I'm gonna give you my first impressions on the Mini Cooper S convertible. And if you like seeing content such as this, and you wanna see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the little bell icon to get notified of all our future uploads. So anyway, my first impression is gonna start with this color, which I can best describe as Mr. Bean Green. It's quite a Marmite color, you don't like it or you don't. I think it's quite flashy, I like it. And you also see these racing stripes, which make the car go faster. It's just a law of physics. Anyway, under the bonnet, we have a two litre four cylinder engine pushing out 280 Newton meters of torque and 176 horsepower with the help of the little spoolie boy. And we see the S badge to show everybody else that you bought the more expensive version. Now, coming around to the side, have a look at these rims, which I am not the biggest fan of, if I am honest. I think they do look better and more interesting than the three pin power plug rims we had on the Mini Electric, but I think it's the wrong kind of funky. It looks a bit like a washboard and not the biggest fan. Anyway, moving on. If the roof was up, you could see that there is a Union flag design on the top. You can't see it now because it's a bit floppy. And you also get the Union Jack tail lights, which Minis are now known for. And that's of course because Mini is now German. Anyway, in the boot, this is usually the part of the program where I try to climb into the boot, but as you can see, it's not the most feasible option here today because it is a convertible. But if the roof was up, Mini has added these easy load things on the side so I could lift these things up and lift up the rear cover just a little bit so it can ease my putting in and taking out of things. Now, in the rear of the car, as you can see, this car has three seats. Now I say three seats because it has two seats in front and half a seat each at the back. And I say half a seat because if I try and climb in, this front seat is in my driving position. And as you can see, I can basically get my legs amputated for free if I have this car. So if your family is any taller than 50 centimeters tall, this probably isn't a family car for you. You can put child seats back here though. So I guess that's a plus. Now, as I struggle to climb back to the front, oh, we can see that the interior of the Mini Cooper S convertible is quite similar to all the other Minis we've taken a look at with the center circle with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We have the same airplane looking switches, which I still do very much enjoy. We have the ones for your start-stop down here and up here we have the ones for your interior lighting and the roof. In the driver's side of the car, we have the center running track shaped semi-digital gauge cluster, the leather wrapped steering wheel, shift paddles, steering wheel controls, another union flag down here. And what I am sitting on are these actually quite comfortable leather seats, but they do suffer from the same problem that plagued the Mini Electric. And that is on a car like this, they are not electric, they are fully manual seats. So I think one of the biggest things I've realized after driving this car is, let me let you in know a little secret, come a little closer. The girls love this car. It's true. And if you're one of our four female viewers that disagrees with me, you can DM me on Instagram, the link's around here somewhere, and have it out with me there. But for now, that's basically all the first impressions I have for this video. If you want to find out more, you can head on down to Mini yourself and take it for a test drive, or you can check out our link in the description for the article for this car. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching this episode of M Preview, and I will see you on the next one. Motorist.